This protein shake has about 250 calories. And that's how much you actually burn during a typical resistance training session. Yes, just about 250 calories. So if you train only to burn calories and then drink this after your workout, you've basically just wasted your time. So if you've recently started a workout routine to lose weight and you're training three times a week and now you are wondering why the scale isn't moving, this is why. To lose half a kilo of body fat per week, you need to create a calorie deficit of 3850 calories. That's about 550 calories every single day and your workouts gives you 750 calories burned per week you know 250 times 3 so that's not even close and that's assuming that everything else stays the same which rarely does when people start exercising they often unconsciously move less and eat slightly more this compensatory behavior could cancel out the calories you burn so what should you do first try to shift your mindset exercise should not be done only to burn calories but rather to build strength muscles and fitness. If fat loss is the goal, nutrition and everyday movement should be a priority. But you don't need to flip your life upside down. You could increase your steps. Let's say if you're walking now 4,000 steps a day, you could increase it to 7,000 steps a day. Uh, you could make smarter choices, replacing sugary drinks for sugar-free ones. You could eat more protein and more fiber, more vegetable. And if you are wondering how I calculated the calories burned during a training session, follow me because I will explain it tomorrow.